Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 475 and in this video I'm going to talk about the VLOOKUP and the MATCH. We're going to um, talk about VLOOKUP first and then MATCH and then we're going to you know use their combination in this video, right? So my name is Ajay Parmar and this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash Ajay Kumar Parmar. Now there is a very very important information which I want to give you. Uh, recently, uh, not recently actually, uh, you know over the last i think 3 4 months i i have been receiving a lot of emails from my you know indian subscribers and they wanted to actually see my videos in hindi also right so because when i started this channel 2 years back uh, two, and, 2 and a half years back you know uh, we uh, you know my videos are always in english right because i wanted to help uh, the entire community you know not just within the india but out, outside the india as well so with that attempt with that aim i always uploaded the videos in english but now what we are going to do is every every of my you know this the video uh, is going to be uploaded into you know two forms one is going to be my mother language mother tongue language which is going to be Hindi and in the title I will clearly mention that that the video is in Hindi so that anybody who doesn't understand Hindi you know they they uh, they never go into that video and they see that right but there is another form of the same video the same stuff obviously and we will talk about that in the English also now this video which you're watching right now uh, I just uploaded a video number 474 and that is in Hindi right so if you want to watch that video in Hindi you can go and check that video right so let's talk about this we look up and the match and let me uh, give you some good understanding on this because we look up and match you know why 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 I'm talking about these videos uh, these two uh, subjects because uh, these uh, these these subjects are very common subjects everybody is supposed to know these subjects right it doesn't matter what kind of a profession you have you might be an expert in excel you might be a very intermediate level you know you having the intermediate level in excel or maybe you are just a basic person and who doesn't actually really care you know for the excel you know because your field doesn't demand that good excel but still you always need these two functions because we look up and match uh, individually if you look at these functions they they may not look so good uh, i'm talking about especially you know the match function you may be thinking that you know this is a very very bizarre function i mean because match basically we used to return the position so what i'm gonna get you know out of uh, you know using this function i mean i'm just getting the position but you know what guys when you're going to mix up when you're going to mix up these two functions you can have the fantastic result right so let's talk about this and if you're watching the channel for the first time then i want to tell you that these are all the playlists which we have created and you can go and watch the videos on excel we look and match under this playlist which i'm you know right now have selected this is the proper sequence of all these playlists you can watch all these videos in this sequence right now what you need to do is you need to go to my channel and these are all the different different playlists if I just you know show you on the left side right so these are all the playlists right now they are not coming proper but uh, once you just hover your you know cursor over there you would uh, see the uh, the complete title now this basically this is specific this uh, the playlist this talks about the excel we look up and match and uh, you know there are already uh, how many videos 17 videos are there right so you'll find some videos in hindi also and you'll find uh, the videos in english the video which title which says learn excel in hindi that's going to be the hindi so don't watch if you don't understand that you can watch the other video right so in this video let's talk about this guys this is the the basically the database uh, which in which i'm going to actually today show you how to use the VLOOKUP and how to use the MATCH and then how to actually combine both the functions, right? So first of all, I want to clarify that VLOOKUP basically guys, it's your vertical lookup, okay? We use this uh, VLOOKUP whenever you, your item which you're trying to look up, it always goes in the downward direction, right? There's another VLOOKUP, there's uh, sorry, another lookup actually, which we known as, you know, which is known as H lookup that is called the horizontal lookup now horizontal lookup actually works in this way now you know that if you have to find this chair in this table right you have two options either you find it manually and you go here and you see that what is the cost and you just write here 10 right but the point is if you have let's say just imagine if you have 1 million records here and here you have your own 10 records or maybe 20 records then how difficult it is for somebody to look up you know to do that manually so in order to sort out those issues of lookup of when you when you're trying to find something we have the vlookup 
right now why we call it vertical lookup because i was as i was telling you that your item actually flows in the downward direction if this is going to be in this direction then i will definitely go and use the edge lookup right anyways that this video is not about the edge lookup we're going to talk about the vertical lookup here so let's let's start this guys so to write the formula first you write the equals to sign this is the, the basic thing which you must know you write the v lookup and you start the bracket open parenthesis right now when you write the open parenthesis or uh, you have to see that uh, how many parameters basically we have in a function now i have here four parameter one two and three and four so i'm going to use all these four parameters one by one right so what is lookup value now lookup value is actually your lookup which you want to find and you know that this is going to be my lookup value so i select this value what is the table now your table is this table right now this is just a very small date table but in your case your table can have 15 rows uh, or maybe uh, 15 columns and you know 10,000 rows so you have to just select the table now once you select the table you have to give the column number now you know that uh, so from how, how what, what do you mean by the column number now the column number basically is coming from this header cost where is this so this cost is in my in, in my this table if you start looking you know counting the the position of this cost this is going to be the second column isn't it because this is my first column this is my second column right so i simply go and write here two and then i write comma and the last parameter so in the last parameter we have exact match so i'm just going to write here zero and i just close this and this is what i see right now once you have this now what you will do is you will simply freeze the table so i just go and freeze the table i hope you know about this dollar sign uh, this is a cell referencing part if you haven't uh, you know if you're just uh, new to the excel then you can go and check my uh, playlist called excel demo videos right I, I'll, I'll show you in this uh, there is a the playlist called excel demo videos when you click there you'll find two videos there cell referencing part one and cell referencing part two watch that and you'll understand the concept of the dollar so basically when you drag the formula what happens it actually increases the row number but we don't need this d3 to change to d4 and d5 so that's why we're fixing this okay now guys uh, this is fine so that's how we actually you know we can drag this and we, we will have all the cost you know uh, the coming from these items now the thing is if i change this to month do you think the value will change obviously the value will not change right so what do you have to do then you have to basically go here and you have to change this two to four why four well because your month actually is on the fourth column so that's how you know when you write the four then you drag it and you will have the same value again you know you will have the months coming here similarly if you write here sale then again you have to change this to three you know now the point is that who is going to do this because when you talk about the extreme side of the excel and when you want to be you know uh, superstar in excel right you really don't like to spend time on these silly things on these small things i would say right because i'm not here to do this every time so how to how about automating this task so what i'm saying is in 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 simple language i'm saying you change the header and the formula automatically changes this column number but how we can do that right so that for that we have a function called match match basically we use to return the position to return the position to return the position means to re it, it it could be a column number it could be a row number that depends how your lookup actually is displaying now for example if i simply say that i want to find the position of the month in my table this table right because here i have all the item all the headers item cost sale and month so how you're going to do that you use the match function you look up the value and then you go in this table isn't it and you go in this table and then you say that uh, you just go and say that exact match you write the exact match i'll talk about the less than and the greater than in my other videos but right now i'm just going to use this as exact match now don't think that every time you use the exact match but more than 90 90 percent of the times i would say 99 percent of the time we use the exact match guys right because we always look for the exact match but never underestimate this less than and greater than in fact i had uploaded a video also on this you know where i think we talked about the greater than and it was a fantastic thing somebody wrote me a question and they we use this greater than you would find that video i think under the playlist we look up and match right but anyways let's close this so i have my answer here as four 
right so if I just go and change this as cost you know what happens what is happening if you look at carefully your number is automatically changing now this is exactly the column number of my cost in my this entire table isn't it so that is what we are going to do here now in now I'm going to link this sale with my match function and then what happens match is going to return me the position because if I right now right here sale you see that this is going to happen you will automatically have the column number three because if you start counting the sales position this is what you will get here you know one two three now remember one thing some people what they do is because they use the VLOOKUP so they in the match they use the entire table so if you just you go and use the G4 for example I'm using now two rows in this table D3 to G4 you will have the error match has a condition guys the condition is you cannot use more than one column or you cannot use more than one row remember that point okay so I'm simply going to use the match function here I simply say match look up this value and go in this table and give me the exact match zero and that's it right now you see that I'm not getting here answer so let's go and check that out so what's wrong with this so I'm going to see that L10 all right so I actually chose the wrong value it should be sales so let me just fix that so now it's L9 I press enter and you have the answer now this column number basically the thing which we have written here in the column number manually this we are going to change this to you know we are going to link this with this L14 right and then what happens you have to freeze this L14 you put the dollar here so that when you go it move it down L14 should not change to L15 L16 right that's going to uh, we, we have to make sure because if you if you're going to uh, if you're not going to freeze that L15 is going to show you zero because we don't have anything in, in, in the L15 and then ultimately you know that zero is going to be used in the column index number of VLOOKUP which is absolutely wrong right because you can't say that you know VLOOKUP go and find out this chair and once you find the chair go in the zero column VLOOKUP has four columns in this table this is the first this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth right so now you see that I go and drag this we have 20 30 50 and if I if I go and check that so this is the sale which is 50 let me change this to 19 and you see that this is basically changing now the benefit of this is that guys if I just go and change this to month you see that fantastic it's a magic you know you are actually able to change the entire values right so if I just go and write here cost again you have the cost you have the sale so what is happening basically if you press F2 to expand the formula now this is the column number which we are using in this VLOOKUP here right we are not writing this manually so if the column number is going to change which will obviously change because we have used the match function here match is picking up this item then the rest of the things will automatically change right so this is how your formula is going to work right so now I have this formula and uh, this is done now the next thing which I want to do so I can do one thing for you I can remove the equals to and I can show you this is what we have done you can pause the video and you can you know start writing this function this is how the function is you know let me just zoom out it so you can note this function you can practice on it right now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm directly going to actually remove this match from here guys and I'm going to put the equals to here and then in this column index number you're directly going to use the match function because I don't want to use the any row helper or column helper let's not use any other thing let's put the function directly in the formula so let's use the match here in the column index number because match is going to give me the position the column number of this sale item isn't it so what I have to select in the lookup it's my sale and then the lookup array this is going to be my table and then in this table I want this value to be exact match so I'm going to write here zero I close this and I press enter now you have to freeze this table because this table should not move as I said you have to freeze this using the F4 shortcut key I'm using the F4 shortcut key and there we go and this L9 we should freeze it L$9 because this should not be L10 because my lookup my match should always look up the sale item and returns me the position or the column number of my this you know the uh, this this the lookup item in this table in this table so this is what I'm going to do I just go and drag this and that's how you know you get to see the sales now 
let us do and you know check this let's do the testing so I write here month there we go bingo you got the sale you got the cost you got everything so what is happening your match is doing its magic this match it's picking up the item whatever you are writing here it's going in this and it's checking that where is it right so I can just go and remove the equals to sign from here and I can you can just go and you know note down this formula this is your formula right this is what we have done and you can practice on it right so thank you so much guys and as usual do subscribe to the channel share this channel videos with you know everybody who, who wants to be an expert in Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA and in fact uh, uh, very soon you are going to see the web designing tutorials as well we are going to start with the HTML first HTML right which which is a very basic uh, uh, the needed the required thing if, if you want to build up the web pages right so I'll see I'll see you soon in my next video and you stay happy and have a fantastic learning thank you so much for watching bye bye